Hello, and welcome back to a new video. Um, this is not your normal video for me. I've recently come across some stuff. This is an update video, but not for my channel. This is an update video sharing my opinion on YouTube's new terms and policies so sit back enjoy this picture on this video and listen to me talk about shit that I think is fucked up YouTube has gone on to say they have no um, obligation to host anybody's videos anymore they go on to say YouTube is rolling out a new new updated terms of service December 10th, which is today. And a new line of acts as a reminder that the company does not have to keep keep any video up that it doesn't want to. YouTube is is now under a no obligation to host or serve content. The new term service policy reads if it's if it's any other way of saying that just because YouTube is open an open platform it doesn't mean that the company is required to keep up videos YouTube has faced criticism from all the sides over all from all sides over its video removal process some critics argue that YouTube could do more to take down videos that butt up against the company's rules but don't outright outright violate them. Others argue that YouTube obtains to be a fully open platform and shouldn't control what remains up and what doesn't. To me, that right there hits me hard right there because... I'm a content creator. It used to be where used to be I used to make my money off YouTube. And now I'm no longer a partner of YouTube. I wasn't getting paid what I wanted to be paid. And I just find it straight bullshit. I mean it's Executives have, have long defended the platform as a champion of freedom as free speech, but have stated to clamp down on types of videos allowed, allowed. And that right there is bullshit. I mean, you got people doing doing videos such as uh, such as try on videos that do lingerie and all that stuff. But yet, I don't see nothing wrong with that. That's why I have this picture up. Because technically, it's not showing nudity. It's not showing anything. More than likely, this video will be flagged by YouTube and more than likely taken down because of the, the video content that I've put in the video to talk about this. Um, some of the companies up companies update their terms and service all the time. This is YouTube's third chance and Justin third change in 2019. It's ridiculous. I mean, the latest latest updates collide collide with the upcoming changes YouTube will put in put in with Federal Trade Corporation guidelines for YouTube. It may seem, uh, seem like I'm reading this off a script. I'm not. I'm reading this off the actual actual press release that was put that was put on root on YouTube for their two terms and agreements. Like I said, YouTube is under no obligation to host or serve serve content. They will not do it anymore. Many updates 
center around who's using the platform and protecting protection for children. I get that they're trying to protect children and everything, but it shouldn't be YouTube that should be protecting the children. It should be the parents that watch what their ch children watch on YouTube. It's not us creators' fault for what children watch on YouTube. Don't penalize us for some of the parents out there allowing their children to watch such videos as try-on videos of women trying on underwear and other lingerie. There are channels out there that do toy reviews. All of a sudden, now these toy review channels are in in hot water, getting their videos taken down, all that. We should not have to put an age restriction on our videos now. Let's go on. Um, many of the, up, like I said, many of the updates center around who's using the platform of protecting for children. In September, the Federal Trade Corporation issued a 170 million fine against YouTube for allegedly violating the child violations of the Children Online Policy Protection Act. That right there is some bullshit. Technically, how is YouTube supposed to know what children are watching? Like I said, it is not YouTube. It is not Google's. Google's a responsibility to do that. And... Also, it goes on to say, YouTube has also agreed to make changes to further children's per children protect children's privacy and comply with the law. Children's privacy. Who in their right mind is seriously, who in their right mind is getting into the privacy of children? Is YouTube saying that these people that make toy videos that are adults are violating children's privacy? If it is, I call bullshit. We shouldn't have to put on our videos adult toy reviews not for children. Just because someone had to reach out and complain about shit. We shouldn't have to do that. Let's go on. Terms of service now come with an update solution on parental responsibility for children use the program. Use children when children use the platform. Sorry, I have been drinking, so it's a little hard for me to speak right now. But I wanted to get this out. Um, and have more clearly stated age re requirements per country for using YouTube. That right there <coughs> is pretty fucked up because half my videos are region restricted. So the only country that's actually seeing my shit is the United States. I don't know if the rest of North America is seeing my videos, but I know for a fact the United States is seeing my videos. I haven't had anybody from the United Kingdom, Canada, um, fuck, um, Germany. I believe that's still in the United Kingdom, but you get what I'm talking about. <laughs> YouTube, uh, they this also includes a notice stating if you are a minor in your country, you must also have your parent or guardian's position to use the service. That right there should have been stated a long time ago. When I first started YouTube, started watching YouTube when I was a kid, there was a thing that would pop up 
asking for your birth date to watch a certain video. Now that I'm an adult, I don't see that pop up, even when I'm an adult. I ain't shit. I saw that when I was 18. It would ask me when I, ask me how old I was at the time. Um, YouTube said the term sir term the terms of service are being changed in order to make them easier to read and ensure they are up to date. That right there is bullshit because even if the terms have changed, they still read as stereo instructions. Which is hard as fuck. I can't even read stereo instructions and I'm fucking 30, almost 33. Let's go on. They go on to say, we are not changing the way our product works. We, how, how our project works, how we collect or process data or any of your settings. So they're not changing the settings. YouTube changed their settings years ago when they started adding ads to videos. When I first started watching YouTube when I was 14, 15 years old, not a single video had any ads on it. Now, half the time when you go on to a video, it asks you to take a quick survey. And while you're watching the video, Right as they're about to say something, it cuts to an ad. Not just one ad half the time, two or three ads half the time. Um, our cha other changes just seem to give YouTube more power. One of the most uh, clauses that creators have tweeted about since YouTube began alerting people to upcoming changes has to do with termination so YouTube is terminating channels if they feel that your content is not according to them so say you do a FIFA FIFA no uh, call um, Fortnite video and you're doing some commentary, you got, um, say, 50 cents candy shop pumping in the background while you're playing, you up the, upload that, and YouTube decides to take it down, and then terminate your channel, just because you use copyrighted music in your video. How's that go to violate children's, children's, children right there um various youtubers have treated out a segment from the terms of service that states youtube may terminate at your access or your google account access to all or part of the service if youtube believes believes in its solo dis sorry i can't read some of this stuff so i'm skipping over some of it the that pro version of the service to you is no longer commercial. Uh, some creators have read read this as saying YouTube can simply terminate your channel and accounts if you're not if they're if they're not earning revenue. That right there is bullshit. I feel because half these creators aren't even earning earning revenue. They had to open up Patreon pages. Pages. And just to make ends meet. Because if we all remembered the ad apocalypse, a lot of ad companies were pulling out from YouTube because <clears throat> of content. Because YouTube changes their terms and terms and terms and policies a lot you cannot now cuss in your videos if you are a YouTube partner 
You cannot make money if you do clothing try-ons. If it's not regular clothes. You cannot do a lot of things. Say if I was to itch my ass in a video, that would all of a sudden, more than likely, get demonetized, and the video would be taken down. Let's go on. A version, a, ver, a version of that line has been in YouTube's terms of service since early 2008. However, this update just modifies the wording to give YouTube more leeway to make the determination. It now, sa it now says that YouTube has the solo dis to, to solo to determinate an account whatsoever. Before it said that YouTube must re reasonably believe it should do so. A YouTube spokesperson told The Vogue that the company is, is also not ch changing how we work with creators, nor the rights over their works or their right to monetize. That right there, I still believe is bullshit. Because YouTube I don't know. I don't know how to finish that, but I feel YouTube doesn't give you the right rights over their work, over your work, or the rights to monetize a video. I should know for an example because I'm now getting getting copyright messages for videos I did when I first started out in 2019. I started in 2014. So five years ago. I started five years ago. And I'm now getting, getting emails that someone has claimed copyright to something that I've done originally that doesn't have music in it or anything. Let's go on. Update November 11th. The story has been updated to include additional comments from YouTube about monetization from creators. So that's about it for the uh, for the new stuff from YouTube. Now it's the point where I talk about shit that I think is still bullshit. Uh, I'm one of those YouTubers that I love watching all sorts of shit on YouTube. Getting ideas for stuff that I should do because we all want to be relevant on YouTube. Tell you the truth, there are no more original ideas on YouTube anymore. Other people use other people's ideas. And there's nothing wrong with that. I've used a few ideas from a few YouTubers. Um, haul videos. Um, um, chat, chat, roulette, chat, chat roulette and Amigle. I've done a few of those and a lot of other YouTubers have done it. I did a series called um, Trash to treasure where I would find stuff find stuff on the street that seemed pretty cool and I would share it on YouTube which that was classified as kind of like dumpster diving pretty much but um, I've had some original ideas um, weekly movie reviews um, Um, music from soundtracks, which some of my videos got taken down for that. Let me crack open another beer because this is going to get more interesting. You don't know how many times 
YouTube has fucked up some of my videos. Has taken down my videos. I've had to re-upload with edited versions of those videos. Because people get butt hurt. Another thing that kind of makes it hard for us creators is YouTube will take away subscribers from you. They will literally take subscribers away from you. I've seen it. My channel started as a good channel. I was up to 2,000 subscribers in 2014. It is now 2019, and I'm down to... What am I sitting at right now? Let's check. I am sitting at a good 300 subscribers right now. From 2,000 subscribers in 2014 to 300 subscribers in 2019, that's a good 1,700 subscribers that I've lost over the five years that I've been in YouTube. On YouTube, not in YouTube. I'm not saying I'm fucking YouTube. I mean, I've been on the platform since 2014, and it's been an uphill battle since then. Um, my channel has gone through drastic changes. I've changed the name of my YouTube channel. I started, started out as the guy YouTube channel. Now I'm the TGYC army channel. Um, my videos don't get the views that they should get since, like I said, a lot of my videos aren't allowed in certain regions. So far, I believe the only people that are seeing my videos are in the United States. Like I said, YouTube takes subscribers away from people. I lost my partnership with YouTube because YouTube was too lazy to actually put ads on my videos. They were also giving the option of for people to skip the ads on my videos to where I wouldn't make any money. To tell you the truth, being an independent content maker now is amazing. I mean, other than the fact that I have to really pay for everything that I do, such as my blind bag videos, my mystery minis, and haul videos I have to pay for all that out of pocket but I don't mean I don't mind I don't mind having a a regular everyday ordinary day job that right there I don't mind I mean it kind of hurts me a little bit that I can't push out as much content as I used to but I'm still pushing content out I started a new platform. I now share my videos onto my Facebook page. So if you guys want to add me as a friend on Facebook, just look up John Michon. Um, I'm doing a lot. I mean, I used to push out, push out like maybe five videos a week. Three videos at, at the most. Now it's I can only push out as many videos as I possibly can right now. Because I work the overnights. I have a day job. I mean, I have a night job. But other than that, I, I sleep all day. But uh, my opinion on this whole new YouTuber thing and... I mean, YouTube uh, terms and agreements... It's making us a lot harder to upload our videos because we have to pretty much jump through hoops to do them. We have to mark a shit ton of stuff before we can even update it. Um, now, we have to go through the settings. 
the setup when we want our video to be posted. It's it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, I don't know what happened. I don't know why it happened. But uh, unfortunately, this is the world we live in. Look at our president. Look at look at everything. I mean, it's become straight bullshit. But uh, that's it for me right now. I thought I'd make this quick video. Um, yeah. Like, subscribe, comment. I want to hear your guys' feedback in the comments for this. If you like the new terms and agreements or it's just kind of ridiculous. So take it easy, guys. And remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Yeah, only you.